record sales to their name and a string of monster hits. They're still a force in the entertainment industry and now the music icons are down under with a very special guest. Yes, and Richard Wilkins got the chance to meet the legend. He joins us right now. Oh, G'day, I thought they singing along. You were there last night? Were Went to the show last night, the first show of their Australian tour in Sydney, Kudos Bank Arena. They play there again tonight before heading around the country. Look, Freddie Mercury, their iconic lead singer who wrote most of the songs, uh, passed away 27 years ago, but of course Adam Lambert, who they met on American Idol, mm. he used sang Bohemian Rhapsody to get in there, and they performed with him on the show. He's just breathed new life into the band. I mean, he's not trying to be Freddie, and he makes that quite clear, but he's brought a whole youth and an energy, and he sings these songs just magnificently. Anyway, I had the pleasure of catching up with uh, original members uh, Brian May and and uh, and Roger um, Roger Taylor last night, <laughs> along with Adam Lambert as they about took to the stage. I think they're very different production as well this time we thought, which we're excited about. It's very kind of thematic. The American tour just boom, sold out. It seems that like we have a new audience almost. You know, we still have the old audience, thank God, but we have a whole young audience, which is amazing. This, I guess it gives us new life. He gives us new life as well, don't you? Oh, he gives me life yeah. too, so... Yeah, yeah, he's quite it. young. He's not very young, but he's quite young. <laughs> we feed on his youth. <laughs> Sucking his blood. Well, that's what's been going on. I want to break free. You're not trying to be a, a sort of a carbon copy of Freddie, but these guys have given you the freedom to, to, to be yourself. I always think of myself as somebody that's just been given an amazing opportunity to continue communicating. Uh, the messages of these songs and um, just bring it to live audiences with the uh, the royalty here. What's so beautiful now and one of the things we love about getting on stage now is that it feels more than it did five years ago. It feels really natural. It feels like it kind of is in, for me, it feels like it's in my body now, the music. Yeah, we really um, certainly didn't want to uh, an impersonator, you know, we, we wanted Adam to be Adam, and he certainly is. Bohemian Rhapsody, the movie. I mean, we've already got We Will Rock You, the, the, the stage show. Tell me about this movie. <laughs> well, it's all shot now, it's all wraps. So they're uh, in the editing stage, and it's very exciting. The cast are amazing, I think the script is good, and uh, what I've seen is beautiful. I mean, very touching. It's kind of a, 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 a biopic, as I understand it, leading up to, to Live Aid, is it? Yeah, it's right? definitely not a documentary. No, it's it, a film. It, it is an entertainment, so it, you know, it's a kind of a fiction, fictional version of reality. <laughs> uh, the guy who plays Freddy around the month is great. Sasha Baron Cohen was in there for a while, wasn't uh, he? He was, yeah, but it wouldn't have worked. Yeah, we wanted an actor. <laughs> Whoa, wow. As opposed to a what? As opposed to a sort of uh, satirical, uh, edgy comedian, really. It's also sectentious to at all. What is it that sets a, a catalogue, a body of work, aside from other bodies of work? It's the hard question, isn't it? We can never really answer that. I mean, I think we were very competitive as a band in the writing as well as anything else, so the standard kind of got to be very high. We criticised each other a lot, and we also inspired each other, I think. So we're lucky to have a catalogue of songs which endures. And I think we also wrote stuff that wasn't like, I'm a rock star, this is what I did. It's stuff that everybody feels, you know, it's love and it's hope, it's wanting to break free, it's all, all those kind of things. It's, it's normal things that we wrote about, that we felt passionate about. How good do they sound, seriously? Queen and Adam Lambert continue their epic tour at Kudos Bank Arena in Sydney uh, tonight before heading to uh, Brizzy, Adelaide, Melbourne and Perth. You know that Brian May, the guy with her hair, yeah. he built that guitar himself when he was 17 years of age with his dad. He still is plays... He's like an astrophysicist or something? You know what he is? He's an astrophysicist, Paula. Coming up on Ty Extra, 